We are live Monday, coming to you 8 p.m. I am Adam Hill with Hill Vending, own and operate Hill Vending in Tampa Bay, Florida. And I'm coming to you live today to go over um, an important topic that comes up a lot, comes up a lot when people are looking for vending locations. Um, if you do any kind of searching on the internet, you will find people talking about the ever important location. So I'm going to give it just a second here, let some people jump on. And then I'm going to dive right into it and give you my thoughts on vending locators, on vending business locators. And what I'm talking about specifically is um, full size snack and drink locators, the companies that say that they're going to find you profitable locations. They even have different tiers of locations. Uh, that they're going to find you and they're going to charge you accordingly. So um, appreciate everybody hopping on here, watching this video. You're going to learn uh, my thoughts on it, and it might be a different take than what you hear from uh, from other people, but it's just from my experience. So again, we operate a, a route here in Tampa, Florida with a number of machines that we've never used a vending locator talked to a number of them, talked to a number of them, um, but we have never used one just because it didn't feel right. Didn't feel right. And when you guys deal with them, you'll you'll get your own opinions, but you have an, an internal intuition about people that, uh, that you'll feel. So appreciate you guys hopping on. As I continue um, live, leave your questions in the comments. If you're watching this on the replay and you have a question about what I say, I'll respond to all the comments. Just leave it in the uh, leave it below the video your specific question, and uh, and we'll get to it. So, and maybe it will even be a topic for a future video. So, vending locators. We're going to jump right into it, and we're going to talk about what is a vending locator. Again, the three keys of vending for for me and for our business here in Tampa are the location, the machines, and the service. So the location is uh, what most people think is the most important part. I would disagree, but that's for another video. That's for another video. If you've seen any of my other videos, you know that I think uh, differently on that. But we're going to get into the location locator aspect of it today. And basically what a location locator does is you'll pay them a fee, okay? You'll hire them to find um, accounts in your area. You'll give them a list of zip codes. So for example, I wanted to hire some for uh, Tampa Bay. I would give them a list of zip codes in the area that I'm looking for account. More than likely, they're going to outsource that to a telemarketing call center and they're going to pound the phones. They're going to absolutely destroy the phones with phone calls to accounts. And they're going to ask them, uh, you know, basically try and set you up an appointment. Okay. Now, this doesn't go for all. There may be a vending uh, locator out there that I don't know about. And please reach out to me if there is a vending uh, a vending locator that does this um, in a reputable manner. But that's normally how it works. You pay them a fee. Um, again, the people that I've dealt with in the past, it seems extremely sketchy. There's different tiers. There's different levels. There's, gold, there's different... Uh, diamond packages, gold packages. It just didn't make sense and it didn't feel right. You know, when you go to the car lot and they try and run some uh, run some language on you that just doesn't sit, sit right? Well, that's what it is with these. I'm not talking about gumball, putting gumballs in restaurants or, or little quarter machines. I'm talking about full-size profitable vending accounts. They're going to land that. So that's how, they, that's how it works. That's the first thing, okay? And we're going to jump onto it here. Looks like we have our first comment. Appreciate it. Amy, my wife says that hair is looking fresh. Thank you. We did actually smuggle uh, smuggle a stylist into the house to get a haircut. Please do not call the authorities on us. We did social distancing. Please, please do not call the authorities. We we're just trying to get a haircut. Okay. So um, that's what they do. That's what a vending location, location locator does. They're going to promise to find you an account. The problem with that is you still need to go in and, and qualify the account. You still need to go in and close the account. You still need to go in and know in what type of machines need to even go into that account. 
So let's say this hypothetical Bob's vending locator finds you a great location. You're new to the business. You have no idea what that location even needs. And funny thing is most locations don't know what they need machine setup wise. They don't know what, how many machines they need. They don't know how many snack machines they need. They, th they think they need cold food at a tire shop. They think they need two snack machines when they need one. Okay. They think the location doesn't know. And guess what guys, the telemarketer that's talking to them, that's never opened a vending machine before doesn't know what they need. And here's, here's the real, here's the real key guys. If you think that, that, that the, uh, location locators can make a phone call and get the decision maker on the phone to set you an appointment. If it's too good to be true, what's the old saying guys, if it's too good to be true, it probably is. Okay. If it's too good to be true, it probably is. And some of these packages, guys, the reason I'm making this video is that so you don't get taken advantage of advantage of because a lot of these packages are extremely expensive. I'm talking hundreds to thousands of dollars that, that you're going to pay and it's not going to produce. Okay. It's not going to produce. So that's how you understand first off is the, um, is how it works. They pay a telemarketing, they find the zip the, in the zip code areas you want. They just hit a bunch of people. They set you an appointment and you, if you're beginning and you don't know what machines that need to go in there, uh, you could be setting yourself up for failure. Or if you let the account dictate to you, if you let the account dictate to you what they think they need, guys, you could be spending thousands and thousands of dollars on vending machines that you don't need to spend. So it all comes back to having a full understanding and education of the vending business before you just go and hire someone because you want to get into the into the business. So, um, so that's the first thing. Let's see if we have anything here. Um, we got a first question here. That's how I felt. Like I was getting something promised that would never happen. Exactly. And unfortunately, that's all too often the the way it feels. I, I I'll tell you this. I'm not sure your name. Leave it to EAB. Appreciate the comment. Appreciate you watching. The three that I've talked to in my experience um, all left me feeling slimy. They left me feeling slimy. I didn't feel right when I was talking to them. And, they, and, they, and there's no way that they can promise. There's no way that they can promise to deliver what they're promising you, okay? The foot traffic, how do they know what the foot traffic is? How can they guarantee what the foot traffic is? How can they guarantee what the revenue is gonna, they can't by law actually do that. Um, so anyway, let's get let's move on a little bit. So now as you understand what it is they do and the different levels and the fact that I've had some experience with it and you can find, Google it, people's experience with uh, locators. I wanna get to another key point. The next key point is if, it, if this was possible, guys, if you could pay someone, forget the month, $1,000, $2,000 to find a very, a, a, a good location for your vending machines, don't you think important point here. Don't you think that the big company canteen, the big companies in your area would already be paying them and have these, have these accounts on lockdown? Think that the companies that are already dominating your area would have, would have this service that is so good. They would have the diamond level package and then they would be locking down the locations in your area. Why would, how would you be able to come in and get these uh, great location. So that's that's what I want you guys to think about. How would you be able to? How would you be able to go in, okay, from a telemarketing phone call and compete? How would you be able to compete with a company that has thousands of machines and a marketing budget that could blow you out of the water if this was uh, consistently effective? Now I'm not saying that a location locator might one off find a location or or might have the ability to. Uh, you know, to provide an, an account every once in a while, but to consistently deliver results, that's not happening. I just don't believe that that's happening. If you have experience, drop it in the comments. Let me know. Let me know if there's a reputable company, because guess what? I would love to call them. I would love to call them and use them, but they can guarantee that results. Okay. And in a minute here, I'm going to pull up the she, uh, sh, uh, share screen and we're going to go on Google and we're going to go through a little bit of this. And I'm going to show you some of the red flags that I see. I'm going to show you some of the red flags that I see with these location locators, but that's point number two. If this was as effective as they say, 
canteen and the big dogs in the vending game in your town would have them under contract, would have them under lock and key, and they wouldn't be, they would be getting all the accounts. Okay. So that's the second point that I want to bring up. Um, I more often than not, it's low quality accounts that they're setting you up with that you're going to get machines that aren't going to make money. And that the reason why that the vending industry is a revolving door, the reason that the vending industry has people come in and come out uh, so quickly is partly because of this. And I don't know the solution to it, guys, but if you're going, but let's take the car industry, for example, if you're going to get trained to be a car mechanic, you have to be certified to work on Ford vehicles. Okay. In the vending industry, there's no certification to to sell vending uh, accounts. There's no certification to uh, work on vending machines. You can't get, uh, for the most part, certified on all these different brands. So it's kind of the wild west in the vending industry, which leads to this predatory type of uh, action with these with these companies. So I think that's I think that's what it is. Um, there's not enough consistency in the industry where it leads to, it leads to the, uh, location locators who say that they're going to pay telemarketers to find locations in your zip code for a set amount that they can't guarantee. So anyway, thanks for hopping on guys here. I'm going to keep going a little bit. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. We'll like, I, I would love to get to them. I would love to hear your feedback. Uh, if you've used them. And then we're going to hop on here for a, a, a quick share. Um, but I want to get to my last point. The key, and, and normally with these locators, it's a uh, there's a set amount of time. So if you hire them, it's for a certain number of weeks, a couple of months. There's a certain number of time that you're hiring them to complete their to complete their their task. It's not an ongoing forever deal. Okay, and the key to vending sales, getting locations is follow up. It takes time. Guys, we've worked for over a year to get uh, some of the good accounts that we have. We've worked for over a year to get them by following up once a month consistently with them. So to think that they're going to be able to just deliver this in a short week, first, that they're going to be able to get to the per that, that just by picking up the phone and calling the company, they're going to get the person they need to talk to on the phone. And they're going to be able to do that uh, and, and right away, then they're going to be able to get you to the decision maker to close the deal all within their time frame. I don't think so, guys. Let's see here. We got another uh, Tyrone. Appreciate you hopping on. My locator took six months to find my second location. I already found three on my own by that time. Exactly. Exactly. Great point. Looks like this locator, uh, you know, what, what are they doing? What are you doing? working for six months to find a location. What Tyrone did was he took it upon himself to go out and find locations. And that brings me to my next point, guys. You're better off learning how to find, how to qualify, and how to close vending accounts on your own. Whether it's the hill vending way, whether you use our guide, whether you whether you sign up with us for some coaching, mentoring, whatever, whether it's us or Tyrone, maybe he's he's got locations. He developed his own system. Okay. You're better off developing your own system because guess how much Tyrone had to pay Tyrone? Nothing. Okay. So he's getting free leads, generating free accounts for his business. And as he gets more experience, he'll be able to see what are the keys that he's looking for and how to be successful uh, when going out and looking for locations. Awesome. Appreciate you guys being on here. Drop any more questions. We've got a a lot of great feedback um, so far. Now, I'm going to get into what to do. So you're better off learning uh, the system on your own because you got to know what to look for. You can't let the account lead you into what they want, okay? Now, we're going to use the um, share screen here. If this works, we are live on StreamYard Monday. It is 8.15 and we are dropping knowledge. If you guys are getting knowledge, hit the like button, subscribe. I'm going to get this... Uh, screen on here. We're going to pull Google up. Okay. So we got, oh, let's see. We got Google there. We got Google. Let me know if you can see in the comments. It looks good. And we're going to type in here. We're just going to type in here. If my keyboard works, let me see if it works. Vending locators. This is what you're going to see when you type in vending locators. Okay. 
I can go over the first one real quick. Let's see what we find here. Can you guys see this? Vending, I'll just make it full. Let's see, can we get full? Vending locators, got vending machines. We we find high traffic vending locations guaranteed. Cool. Location refund assurance. They're saying all the right things and they're going to refund you up to $1,000. Yep, they have all the high traffic locations and they're just waiting for you to call. I want to get down here to the bottom. Let's see what the pricing is. Let's get what the pricing is. Kickstart 360. Uh, they give you all the stuff sample locations uh free you get all these bonuses look at this guys you can it's all guys it's only it's only three thousand dollars plus you're getting uh they're gonna build your website out for you you're gonna get all this software three grand three grand they may be great let me know if you if you've had experience with them let's see the contact us page are these are these vending uh do they have a route okay do they have a, a vending business how do they know what to qualify let's go back to their home page real quick and look at this i want to show you guys something high traffic locations it's a nice looking page it's a nice looking page i tell you that core values they got all the values they even got blue angels on there they even have blue angels on there this guy looks looks like a nice guy, Robert. And they got digital marketing secrets. Awesome. Maybe. So that's the first one. Kickstart 360. You can give them three grand, guys. You can give them three grand and they'll build you a website and you can uh, do vending. Now let's go over here to this one. Let's see. Vending connection. Vending machine locators, location payment, um, services USA. You can scroll down here. Look at all these locators. We locate everything on every coast. Excellent service for 30 years. All-star locators. This is more gumball little stuff. Cloud nine locators. Southeast locations for your vending machines. Free quote. Guys, there's all these options out there. There's all these options and there's all these murky waters and there's, uh, there's no clarity in the marketplace. There's no clarity in the vending marketplace. Unfortunately, you can't go to a vending dealer, a reputable vending dealer, and have clarity of what you're getting. That's the problem. Okay. Uh, let's see. What do we have here? I placed my first location last week. How long should I wait to see if the location is good? I'd have to know a little bit about your situation. What's, in, what's your situation? What machines did you put in? Where is it at? How many people? What are your What's your pricing? A lot of variables uh, to go in. Drop them in the comments. We'll break it down. Um, let's see. Tyrone says, let me get back to here real quick. Uh, I, I look at Kickstarter for full line, but they wanted too much. They're okay for bulk vending there in Florida. There in Florida. Right. There's a difference between paying $40 or $20 for a, for a machine, for a little turn, turn gumball machine, and actually understanding the full line vending business. Okay. The full lines, I mean, snack, drink, you know, combo machines. There's a lot that goes into that. There's more money, obviously, in that. So um, there's there's more that needs to be in there. And maybe maybe uh, Kickstart is great. Maybe Kickstart does it. And maybe if you give them three thousand dollars, they'll hold, they'll they'll walk you through everything, guys. Let's see, Seth, what do you recommend about how to get locations fast? Cold calling, buying routes, etc. Good point, Seth. Good question. That leads me. Um, that leads me to my point that I didn't get to. If you're looking to get accounts, if you're looking to get accounts, and let's say uh, you want to get them fast, or let's say you're even someone who doesn't like to do sales, let's say you don't like to go out and market and talk to people in the community. What can you do to get accounts? The number one thing you can do. The number one thing you can do, which I recommend with a caveat, and I'll let you know, is buying an existing account. Buy an existing location. Take that 3,000 you're gonna give Kickstart and buy an ex a location that already has machines on it, that already has income producing uh, machines installed. Now with a caveat, now with a caveat, don't take what I said, well, Adam told me to just go out and buy an account. You have to know what you're buying. You have to have a full, full breakdown. We've spent 
hundreds of thousands buying equipment, buying machines, buying routes. Okay. Over the course of six years, I spent close to now close to 300 grand. Okay. Whether it's buying machines for new accounts, having an account uh, last year or the year before, we put 60,000 in new equipment in there. Okay. We locations. If there's a moat around it, if the location uh, is protected, if I feel it's a good investment, but we also bought a lot of bad accounts. I have starting out a lot of bad accounts starting out. So you can buy a location for, for beginning vendors or for someone who's looking to get in the vending business, buying an existing route can be a great way to get started. It's how I got started. I would have done it different. I would have done it different because now I know what to look for. I wouldn't have valued it as high. I would have looked at the pricing. I would have looked at the commissions. I would have looked at uh, the contracts. Okay. There's a lot to look at. And if you do that wrong, that can be just as just as dangerous as paying a locator to find an account for you. Guys, the vending business is easy. The vending business is super easy, guys. I got in the vending business because I'm not that smart. Okay. I can fill, I can fill machines. I'm not a I'm not a mechanic. I'm not or a technician. I'm not an engineer, guys. The vending business is very easy, but you need to know some certain things. And the problem is the education isn't isn't out there. OK, or there's too much education or too many opinions. Find somebody that you agree with. Maybe it's in your area and, and, and someone that you can resonate with and stick with what they're saying and also stick with what they're saying if it's working. OK, don't I see a lot of people, uh, consultants and, and, and people out there who are talking about they're selling you on their consulting, but they have no route. OK. They have no route. Do you have a route? Are you generating several hundred thousand in sales? Show me. Don't tell me. Show me. If it's so profitable and you're going to do consulting, why aren't you in the business? Where's your route? If you know how to consult, how to build a business and have employees run it, where is your route? So there's a lot of uh, unscrupulous people out there, guys. That's what I'm, I'm trying to get across to you, that you have to be aware that in vending, there is no stamp of approval on almost anything. They're the machines, you can get the machines that have the warranties and the and the uh, and the things in place to protect you, which we do have brands and machines that we like. But for as far as locators, as far as getting locations, as far as education, as far as uh, consulting, who knows? Right. Let's see what we got here. Uh, drink machine. I I paid nine hundred for a, a USI CB three hundred. Front and back loader. I have five flavors of soda and water, all for one dollar. It's about forty people. Yeah, you have to see how it goes. You'll have to see how it goes. What was your question? How long should I wait to see if it's a good location? The, the other thing is a good location. Okay, what a good location for you may not be a good location for me. You have to run the numbers. You have to use the 50, 30, 20 rule that we teach. You have to you have to run the numbers to know if you don't have a lot of overhead. OK, if you're just looking to do this part time and make a little a little side money and you can get your investment back that 900 back for for you buying that account. OK. It may be a good account. For us, we like to stay over 50 people. You know, and definitely I don't know where you're located, but with everything closed down and coronavirus, I'm not sure if that number is going to go up, but you need to. That's another thing to look at, too. OK. So all for a dollar, uh, are they cans or are they bottles? If they're cans, a dollar is a good price. That's good. Got good pricing. And do you have a snack machine or just a drink machine? So um, again, Tyrone, let's see. I have used Robert Patterson, but only for bulk when I did that. Yeah, okay. Well, yeah, maybe Robert Patterson is good and he can, and he can find locations um, for you guys. But like I said, um, if you're afraid of sales, if you're looking to get into accounts fast, buy locations. Before this, guys, before COVID, before we are down 50% in revenue because they won't let businesses operate now, which hopefully by next month they'll open back up, we're down 50%. And we're well diversified with a number of different sectors. We have a number of different accounts. I thought, uh, you know, we, we would be pretty protected. And we're down 50%. Here's the problem going forward, guys. The problem going forward is um, 
those those locations, those office buildings that are operating now, or they were operating before with 200 people, and now they're all working from home. Are they going to bring back all 200 people? Are they going to pay for that office space now when they've been working remote and they may not need to pay that office for that office space? Are office buildings the new shopping malls? Time will tell. Time will tell. And that's going to affect buying a location that's on 2019 numbers. Okay. Buying a location that's based on 22 numbers. You got to watch out. I would be very careful buying a route until this passes. If you've seen our previous YouTube videos, check out our YouTube video on a gentleman who wanted a uh, uh, 20,000 for his vending route right before this, right before this all happened, all his accounts, all his accounts closed down. So if someone bought a vending route right before this happened, if they bought a vending route right before this happened, now their revenue goes to zero. Okay. Now, I don't know how in good faith vending locators can take your money, especially now when the country shut down. How are you going to find vending locations when the country shut down? Robert Patterson, how are you finding locations? Let me know in the comments, Mr. Patterson. I don't know how you find, how do you get a hold of people when you can't get in? Awesome. Let's see here. Cans. Okay. Cans for a dollar. That's good. Yeah. Drink, just a drink right now. I think that's, uh, that's good. See how it does. 40 people. You got to run the numbers. Give it a month. Come back on here. Let us know how it's doing. Let us know how the account's doing. Give me one month of sales. Is there a credit card reader on it? Let us know. Come back on the live stream and let us know. Okay, guys, any more questions, drop them in the chats. But basically, to recap the vending location locators, be careful. Tread lightly with the locators because there's no guarantee in the locator game. Okay, guys, there's no guarantee of what you're paying for you're going to get. There's no guarantee. I recommend, I highly recommend, guys, just, just go by this. Ask them the simple question if you, if, if you could find all these locations, why is not why is Canteen not buying all your locations? Why do you not have why does Canteen not have you on retainer? Why does Canteen not have you on retainer? Okay. And you're just pumping them full of, of, of locations. Unlimited. They have they have unlimited, right? They're just gonna call and they're gonna find you locations. So ask them that. Okay. And at the end of the day, at the end of the day. Um, there's just too many variables that go into finding a quality location that you can't just outsource it to a telemarketing firm, think that they're going to get in contact with the right person, get you in a, uh, an appointment with them. Guys, we've been doing this six years. You know how hard it is to get on the phone and get the, this and get the right person, get an appointment with with a with a busy account with an account that's worth anything to just think you're going to call on the phone and get them guys the old adage if it's too good to be true it probably is awesome well i appreciate appreciate everyone hopping on here if you have any questions after you see this video feel free to drop them in the comments if you have any uh questions uh or topics that you'd like to see covered in future youtube videos i'd like to come on live especially while this is shut down. This is a, a really good opportunity for someone like myself who in normal situation would be extremely busy, guys. I would be extremely busy with the route doing, uh, focusing on the business to come on here and do these live streams. But I'm trying to share some insight from someone who has 100 machines in operation who started out making all the mistakes um, and, and show you that it is possible. It is possible to make money with vending machines. It is possible to have the freedom that you want. If you want to start um, and get started in the business, it's, it is possible to, to, you know, be your own boss, but you got to get, you have to get education. You have to get education. We do have an ebook link will be down below. It's $10 buy it. You can understand what we're going over the strategy that Hill vending uses. And I guarantee you, I, would it would be nearly impossible i don't want to say impossible but if you could show me one vending company that's doing as much revenue as we are out of one truck 
I'd want to talk to him because I'd love to pick their brain. Okay, guys, I'm not trying to be arrogant. I'm not trying to be cocky. I'm just, I know the system that we have, the efficiencies that we have in place, they work. Okay. I'm not some here. I'm not a consultant coming on telling you guys about what I think worked or when I sold my business 15 years ago. Now I'm going to tell you the best practices and buy these old machines. Okay, guys. Um, I'm sharing what we're doing right now. I'm sharing what we're doing right now and stay tuned because I'm going to share what we're going to do in the future to try and get us out of this uh, coronavirus mess, this mandatory shutdown. If you think we should get back to work, go ahead and smash the like button, smash the like button because we need to get back to work and we need to start opening the country back up so that people can get back to work. Okay. So um, in closing, if you're interested, uh, we have a few spots left in our uh, 497 locator package where you can work one-on-one -on -one with me unlimited times. I'll help you understand the process. I'll help you learn the system of how to actually get locations. Okay. I'll actually teach you, but if you don't get that, if you don't get the ebook, that's fine. But like Tyrone did, he started and he was able to do it on his own. He found three locations on his own by the time the vending locator, uh, was able to help him. So appreciate everybody being on. And remember, until next time, keep your drinks cold and your snacks fresh. <laughs>